Hey guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another tutorial. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. We would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button so you can see future videos. And please visit my new website. I would absolutely appreciate it. So let's jump into the tutorial. So I went ahead and already printed up my pictures. I just put a picture that I found um, just on Google of uh, a forest scenery and put it on each side of the tumbler. This is just a 20 ounce slim and I went ahead and put a coat of epoxy on it. So then I had print out, um, this is, lost my train of thought, this is um, removable vinyl, Oracle 631, and um, using my silhouette, I cut out, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but it's just the silhouette of, <laughs> oddly enough, it's, um, it's a foot of Bigfoot, and it's a silhouette of Bigfoot flipping you off. Um, my husband is slightly obsessed with Bigfoot. I don't know why, but um, he was needing a new tumbler. Um, so yeah, I made him one. So that this, this is what this tutorial is. So I went ahead and cut out this silhouette. And then um, the other side is... <laughs> Uh, just the words that say I hate people yeah a little insight of my husband's personality anyway so I'm just um, weeding out the vinyl for this um, making sure I get all the little in between bits of my letters and then um, I'm gonna get my uh, transfer tape so that I can transfer the vinyl onto the tumbler Um, 631 Oracle vinyl is removable so that I can place it on my tumbler and then remove it without any struggle. So I just line it up to where I want it and um, this will be a peekaboo so I will remove this vinyl after I paint the tumbler. So I'm going to do the same thing with my uh, Bigfoot side. Um, just make sure to burnish down the transfer tape onto my stencil. M my decal, that's what I want to say, my decal. And pull up the backing. I'm kind of going slow here so that I don't pull up any of my bits, but it did pull off pretty easily. And then I'm just eyeballing this. I mean, I knew that I had already sized my image fairly um, large enough to where my decal fit on there nicely. Um, you can see this the decal much better on the tumbler than you can where it was on the backing. So I just start in the middle and then I work my way out to the sides to make sure that I Get out all the bubbles. Now, the bubbles here doesn't really matter because it's a peekaboo. Then I just smooth it down, burnish down with my squeegee, and then I um, pull off the transfer tape. But I do want to make sure that all the edges are down so that none of the paint seeps down underneath once it is time to paint. And because this is still cold in Ohio on the day that I needed to paint it, I went ahead and used my Waverly Chalk Paint and Ink 
and painted one good coat over this and then I did use my heat gun to quickly dry it because I'm impatient. And now my favorite part. I'm using this little pick thing from Dollar Tree actually, and I'm carefully removing the vinyl from the tumbler. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person you can perfectly see it. So um, I'm carefully doing it, and of course I'm out of frame here, but because um, you don't want to scratch the paint by removing it. So I'm just digging the little pin that's on the end of it into like kind of the middle of the vinyl, well not really the metal, but near the edge, and just pulling it up. And it pulls up so easily with it being removable vinyl. And then um, pulling it off and exposing the underneath um, where you can see the picture that I had put on the tumbler. And this is a peekaboo. This is the side that you're really going to be able to see it, um, where it's got the much bigger decal. So I mixed up about 20 milliliters of epoxy and um, just starting up at the top as usual and just making sure I get a good coverage and working my way down the tumbler.
I pop any bubbles and I let this spin for 12 hours. After that was done, I gave it one final coat and then this tumbler is done. I really love how this turned out. It's a really cool effect doing a peekaboo. He loved how it turned out and it's really hard to film with uh, how dark it is, the tumbler that is, but I love how it turned out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a great big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.